I am Reverend Father Anthony Nyego, the parish priest of Mary Maclet of Lutz, Kibgo Mission, and also executive director of Archbok Uganda. John Baptist Sodama Care Center Uganda is a duly registered indigenous non profit making organization which is located in the Archdiocese of Gulu at Mary Maclet of Lutz. Kidgum Mission Paris. With a given brand name as Archbishop John Baptist Sodama Care Center Kidgum or Archbok in short. It operates on the pillars of Catholic social teaching of the church based on the principle of the gospel of globalization and civilization of love. This one, if you read uh, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 25 verses 45 what you did not do to one of the least ones you did not do to for me the organization is newly founded and aims at the saving of the lives of the nodding disease syndrome survivors epileptics elderly and the people suffering from violence and those in dire needs by feeding them, supporting, helping, caring, protecting, and also beholding other basic uh, needs. The status quo of the organization or the current situation. Since 1998, over 5,000 survivors of the Nodding Syndrome from the districts of Pade, Kirgum, Lamo, Gulu, Omoro, Amoro, have been suffering from seizures, severe cognitive deterioration, stunted growth, abject poverty, pains, and emotional fulfillment of which minimum attention have been accorded to them. Therefore, we strive to provide a healthy and positive living to the Nodding Syndrome survivors disabled, epileptics, elderly, and the destitute. Through advocacy and commitment with our development partners and clans, the living conditions of the survivors, due to the mental deterioration of the Nodding Syndrome survivors, they often become unconscious and hand up being attracted towards fire or any nearby water body or rivers or streams, leading them, leading to death in extreme cases. Some of these victims wander into unknown places in the absence of their care takers in search for food and for what to eat. Most of the Nodding Syndrome survivors eat abnormally. That require enough food in the house of which the sick conditions of these victims have denied their parents even a mere peasant farming for con consumption. The female victims are constantly being abused sexually by bad-minded people in their communities. The hand, the hand result is pregnancy and on many, and many have contracted HIV/AIDS as a result of rape and defilement. The living condition worsens when a female survivors give birth. The caretaker ought to care for both the victim and the baby born. Majority of the, the caregivers, their caregivers hardly have adequate time for extensive farm work for the purpose of subsistence. And, most, and, and in most cases, they had to stay at home to take care of the Nodding Syndrome survivors. Most of these families have given up in life. In some extreme cases, they pray for the death of their children due to the unbearable conditions they are going through. 
both victims and their caregivers are suffering a lot from stigmatization because of the nodding condition. Abject poverty, most of these families are living a real worse condition of life since their sick children cannot allow caretakers to do any productive activities to support the families. This organization also has the vision. The vision of this organization is to provide a healthy and positive living to the Nodding Syndrome survivors, disabled, epileptics, violence, destitute, and elderly through advocacy and commitment with partners and clans. The mission of this organization is to stimulate, enhance, and serve Nodding Syndrome survivors and, and destitute with love and compassion to survive, recover and gain control of their future through advocacy and commitment with partners and clans. The goal of this organization. Therefore, as we prepare to open up the center and the official launch of the organization, the organization has a goal to save the lives of the Nodding Syndrome survivors and other persons of concern to Archbok, that is vulnerable households, epileptics, and destitute. And below are some of the strategic objectives or the Archbok interventions. One of them is establishing a fully equipped functional rehabilitation and habilitation center that can accommodate and offer other services to hold those affected by Nodding Syndrome survivors, both at home and at the center, which already has been established. Another one is enhancing health care and medication, physiotherapy, games and sports, language therapy, spiritual and psychosocial support to the Nodding Syndrome survivors and their families. Next, we intend to provide a well-balanced diet and nutritious food to the Nodding Syndrome survivors at the center. Another one is to have constant community outreach programs, protection, guidance, and counseling, sensitization on positive living with Nodding Syndrome, survivors, caretakers, and community. Next, we intend to provide socioeconomic empowerment that is through massive agricultural activities, vocational skills training, and VSLAs and circles to the Nodding Syndrome survivors and their families. Then, we intend to carry out research the research will be on fact-finding on food and nutrition, income, security, possible cause and cure for this nodding syndrome. Then finally, we intend to create a safe platform and space for the government and other NGOs, devout partners, families, and willing persons, among others, to support the Nodding Syndrome survivors and other persons of concern to Archbok. Archbok also has other core values. Archbishop John Baptist Sodama Care Center Archbok has the following core values. Service and love, spirituality, innovation, responsibility, humility and simplicity, health and awareness, honesty, transparency and accountability, and finally, hard work. The cooperations. During the period stipulated in the strategic plan, Archbox shall focus on the following thematic areas, and these include improve the effectiveness of our interventions, Next, ensure the best use of resources. 
then increase the scale and scope of our work, knowledge and expertise, and increase the speed and timeliness of our support, and finally improve our responsiveness to the demands of our clans and communities, the expected results. The expected results will be giving hopes, confidence in image of those victims who suffer from the scourge nodding syndrome to be reinstated. Then restoration of hopes and confidence in the parents of these victims shall be achieved. Then reduce malnutrition among the survivors of the nodding syndromes and many lives shall be improved and saved. Therefore, I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of His Grace John Baptist Dr. Odama, the Right Reverend Bishop Maclet Bekochala, retired Bishop of Kidgum Diocese, and His Royal Highness Rodebi Renana Chana II, the management of Archbok, Uganda, and on my own behalf, I would like to cordially invite you for the grand opening and official launch of Archbok Rehabilitation and Rehabilitation Center scheduled for the 2nd of October 2022. We believe with the above outlined interventions, the organization together we shall find an everlasting solution to the Nodding Syndrome in Northern Uganda. Looking forward to receive you for the function. God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you.